Gasly is up the inside of us. We try and go and keep him around the outside, but Pierre Gasly spun. Singapore, probably one of the best tracks on the calendar in terms of the way it looks. Maybe not so much in terms of the action, but it is a good track. Hi guys, Brown here. Welcome back to the Williams RTG career mode. Today we're in Singapore. As you can see on your screen right now, we are coming to the end of our final run in qualifying because I don't really want to bore you with qualifying. Just get into the action of the race. But it was not a good qualifying. I never had qualifying pace at Singapore. We're starting in 18th. Let's get into the... Against the spectacular backdrop of the Singapore skyline, Formula One returns once again to do battle in what tends to become something of an endurance race, with the notorious sauna-like temperatures in the cockpit making for an extremely physically challenging Grand Prix. The Marina Bay Street Circuit then has 23 corners, 13 to the left and 10 to the right, taking us a total of 3.1 miles around the landmarks of downtown Singapore. An average lap speed around here, just 107 miles per hour. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and talented Spaniard Carlos Sainz completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Perez, Sebastian Vettel and Gasly Stroll, Sonoda, Ricardo, they've taken a grid penalty, and Valtteri Bottas. Fernando Alonso, Mick Schumacher, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Raikkonen. Norris, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Verstappen, George Russell, and Brown. Ocon, and Nikita Mazepin. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. It is going to be a one stop for the Grand Prix. For us at least, those down at the front most likely going to try and pull off the two stop, but the soft tyres, last year's game never really got that far. But here we go then, the five lights are on. And they're out and we're underway in Singapore. It's a good start by the Mercedes then already past the Ferrari. We're going to go down the inside of quite a few cars then. We're side by side with Max Verstappen. We've just fallen back a little bit there. We're going to try and go to the inside of him. But he's got the exit. We're up a good couple of places there. Are we brave enough to go around the outside? No, we're not able to. Max Verstappen covers it off as the Mercedes leads. Then everyone just in poor position behind. As we've left fallen back as it's a good start by Mick Schumacher, he's got himself up there as we nearly come together with the Alfa Romeo, down the inside we go on Mick Schumacher, job done, now we can refocus ourselves on Max Verstappen, I've always been quick in Singapore, think back to F1 2019, I was very quick there, we picked up a couple of wins in on that game, so we'll see what we can do today, it's going to be hard, to keep up with these but as we go down the inside of Max Verstappen at the hairpin the classic move that I love to try and do at Singapore we're now tucked back in his slipstream he covers off the inside we're going to try and go to the outside possibly to the switch back but Max covers us off beautifully we're all over the back of him he looks like he's struggling for a bit of pace on those soft tyres look at the train that's behind the Dutchman as we go into under that really cool grandstand is now 
This is one a couple of laps later on to lap four. We're gonna try it again down the inside of Max Verstappen. This time we're gonna try and get him on the exit. And I think we've got him. Yes, we have. We are up and we are past Max Verstappen. And we are up then into P14. We've gained four positions in four laps. And skipping on a couple of laps. And just like I thought, those on the soft tyres, last year's game they didn't they didn't really go very far either. Just six laps into the race and they're already pitting. So the one stop really could work for us because the AI, especially on last year's game, always really struggled to cut their way back through the field um, for those on the one stop. So we could be sitting in a very good position as you saw the Alfa Romeo pit then and now all the way on to lap 13 and we are coming in to ditch the medium compound tyre and do the last 18 laps of this race on the hard tyres try and get them to the end they may fade off a bit when those doing the two stop if they do come back through but we'll see we'll see what we can do here in Singapore as we get beaten out by the Ferrari but up front our teammate George literally had the entire field behind him I think he was P3 or something at the time um, yeah P3 you can see there and he just had the entire field behind we were around 8 seconds behind but I couldn't close the gap Mick Schumacher you can see here pits and we pitted before have we maintained our lead on Mick Schumacher we have, you can see, us go through and he's lost out to the Alfa Romeo as well. I think he was behind us. Um, but anyway, Mick Schumacher falling backwards into the pits. Comes Sebastian Vettel to make his stop. Um, their second stops of the race. Because not really much happened this opening part. We were just going around trying to look after those hard tyres. As you can see, everyone now is like it's like wet conditions when it, when it's time for the dry tyres everyone's in the pits here and now skipping on to lap 19 George is in he, he's done a great job on those hard tyres started on the hard tyres he's done a great job and you can see those behind him as well on also doing the two stop I think um but into the pits, he's going to be quick at the end now on the, the mediums. 11 laps to go for our fellow Brit. And now where can we slot into this? And where can George slot into this race? Can he finally get his first points? He's going to be quick compared to those in front, but it's hard to overtake here. Sebastian Vettel, after pitting, is on an absolute run here into... Turn one, he gets Mick Schumacher, but if you look at the timing screen, you can see that we are now in P3. We're in the podium positions as Sebastian Vettel goes right around the outside of Kimi Raikkonen, his former teammate when they were both at Ferrari. And he's got the job done there, and now he's on the back of us as we go down the straight. And now Sebastian Vettel is on the back of us. We are not giving up. They were in the podium position for the first time in God knows how long for Williams. We came so close to points last time out of Monza. Me and George both came so, so close. And we're on for big points today and a potential podium. I am not giving up on, on this race, on this podium. I'm going to get some fairly bruised elbows. Vettel tries to go around our outside, we force him wide. We are not giving up on this. This has been our best position in a long while as there goes Vettel. Up our inside, into the chicane, but he's hit the wall. He's hit the wall where the old Mickey Mouse section used to be. He's ripped off an end plate. That wasn't really my fault. I left him space. But Sebastian Vettel now has damage to his car. Look at the absolute train that was behind us. Vettel pits. And I think Kimi may have had damage as well. But now there's 
Max has happened and Pierre Gasly going at it as down the inside of Mick Schumacher. Mick Schumacher was doing us an absolute shift because it was allowing us to get away and just have a moment to regroup, have a little breather. But it wasn't long before they started to catch us. You can see the state of the tyres here. They don't look that bad, but they felt absolutely horrendous, these hard tyres. I had no grip and especially as we went deeper on into this race and around about now they were still really bad but Max Verstappen wants the podium we try forcing wide not giving up on this our tyres may be completely done next though Max he's not giving up is he he never gives up this time he's just a little bit too far back into the first corner to really do anything through turn three and we've gone a little bit wide we've gone wide the tires couldn't handle it max verstappen tries to go right around the outside we force him wide i'm not giving up on this at all even if it means we have to drive dirty that's a bit over the top, I'm not driving dirty. But we squeeze out Max Verstappen and Pierre Gasly now seizes his chance. Kimi Reichman now coming through where the incident with me and Seb occurred and his engine's gone bang. Kimi Reichman is going to retire from the Singapore Grand Prix. It's been a very, very poor run for the Iceman. We wiped him out twice last time out in Monza. Here comes Pierre Gasly trying to get past us. We cover him off. Into turns. One, two and three now. Into turn three. We've gone a little bit wide. We've gone wide. And now there goes Pierre Gasly. He's up the inside of us. We try and go and keep him around the outside. But Pierre Gasly spun. Pierre Gasly has spun. And you can see everyone flooding through as he goes further and further down the order. He doesn't have a front wing. We've made contact with Pierre Gasly. And we'll see what happens here. This is a replay. You can see us. We go wide. Pierre Gasly seizes his chance to go to the inside. We squeeze him right to the inside. And he's off the track and then he comes back on. That is not my fault. Pierre Gasly was completely off the track there as this is Max Verstappen and Daniel Ricciardo two former teammates going at it here in Singapore and Daniel Ricciardo gets the job done on his former teammate and now going on to the final lap these tyres are done absolutely done but there goes Daniel Ricciardo tries to go down or inside cover him off now round turn three Look at the absolute train we've got behind us. Ricardo tries to go to our outside. We're not doing that. And now Daniel Ricardo probably going to have one more chance to get past us. There's an horrible, horrible camera angle. Ricardo goes to our outside. We are going to force him wide. Ricardo goes a little bit wide. This is an incredible camera shot as well. As we are witnessing an historical Grand Prix because Lewis Hamilton wins it and makes and gives himself his record breaking 8th world title in the process and back to constructors for Mercedes as well. There goes Charles Leclerc picking up a P2 and now the hunt is on. Who is going to be the, on the final step of the podium? through the old Mickey Mouse section and now towards the hairpin over the Anderson Bridge into the hairpin Ricardo is just a little bit too far back then to do anything or is he because our tyres are done getting this car out of a corner is like is like trying to get a bus off of, off of red lights on, on a normal road Ricardo is forced wide they're side by side with Max Verstappen through under the bridge you can see the state of the tyres they don't look that bad on that indicator but they felt absolutely horrendous though through the the final corner and we are going to get Williams first podium in a long time we came so close to points in Monza but we get a podium in Singapore a strong drive and a good finish well done
It's certainly been an incredible year for Formula One and our drivers have all pushed themselves this season, making it one of the most compelling years of racing in history. There can only be one champion, however, and here they are now, our new Formula One World Drivers Champion. Not just victory today then, but the championship as well. What a spectacular season they've had. Congratulations to the whole team. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot, a well-earned victory for Mercedes. Nothing can challenge the leaders of the Constructors' Championship at this point, but it's another clear win for Mercedes as they manage to secure the Constructors' title. An incredible performance for the whole team. So, Mercedes do the double yet again for an eighth time. Lewis Hamilton gets his record-breaking eighth world title. Mercedes get the Constructors and we get our first podium of our career and, our, and Williams first in a very long while and George also gets his first points for Williams. That good strategy starting on the hard has paid off. It's finished P10. We're up now into P11 in the standings and we've gone miles up in the constructors as well. But guys, if you have enjoyed that video, absolutely hit the like button as hard as you physically can. And there's just two rounds to go. I will see you next time out for the American Grand Prix at Dakota, I'm going for a lie down. We came so close to points last time out in Monza. And finally, we've got our first point since Monaco and our first podium in a very, very long time.